Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Racha. I'm a voiceover actor. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, um, what do you use to record your auditions and your jobs and stuff like that? Um, so I have a home studio and I record from home a lot. And I wanted to find a piece of software that just takes out the technical side and takes out the difficulty. Because I want to focus on my acting and my performance and the, the stuff that really drove me to voiceover in the, the first place. So I found a piece of software called Twisted Wave. Uh, it's an audio recording software. It's 80 bucks. You can download it off the internet. I'm going to open it up for you right here. And one of the reasons I love this software uh, over any other freeware or anything like that is its ease of use. It's incredibly easy just to get myself going, record an audition, and not have to worry about uh, playing around with the software. So I just opened Twisted Wave, and it opens up a project for me right off the bat, which is nice. And so I'm going to go to Twisted Wave and Preferences. Now the first thing I do whenever I use this program is I just make sure my microphone is plugged in. Uh, occasionally, if I don't check, I might record off my laptop microphone or something else, and it, it just it's just a pain. So I'm going to go to Devices, and it says Blue Icicle. Now uh, that's my recording device. What I have is a, a Sennheiser 416 microphone, which is plugged into this little um, converter box, or converter converter tube called Blue Icicle and this allows me to control the volume up and down uh, as I'm recording. So it's a great tool um, and I like it so I um, am set right here. Blue Icicle, it's all good to go. Now I just hit record and I don't know, let's make up an audition for, for something. Andrew Racho. Huh, the new Ford Focus. The new Ford Focus. The new Ford Focus. Yeah, three takes, one real, one salesy, one a little more authoritative. So um, I can select uh, double clicking on all this stuff, but I'm going to take out uh, all this stuff in the beginning because um, just looking at my waveform, I can see on the screen here uh, what's recorded by looking at all these peaks. And I'm going to hit delete. And now I know right here off the beginning, Andrew Racha. That's my slate. The new Ford Focus. The new Ford Focus. The new Ford Focus. And three takes. There we go. Andrew and Racha. that end part, I'm going to click my mouse, select the area I don't like, and delete it. And that's my audition. So I'm happy with that, and I'm going to save it. And um, save it as Andrew Racho Ford focus and like I said mp3s I'll usually send my, my out my auditions as those and I can adjust the settings so um, that's good also if I'm recording a job from my studio um, as you can tell I'm just recording in my kitchen right now but I've got a, a little booth in the other room uh, controls the sound a lot better so if I need to send out uh, an uncompressed format I have AIFF and WAVE which are often requested and so I can get those formats uh, for the clients. And so save. And that's it. Um, so let me walk you through the process of doing this uh, just to show you again how easy it was. File, new audition. Andrew Racho, Starbucks. I like it. Starbucks. I like it. Starbucks, I like it. File, save. Andrew Racho, Starbucks. And in about a minute, I've already recorded two auditions. Very easy. Now, some of the other technical tools you guys uh, may want to know about really quickly. Um, a lot of people want to normalize audio, which I recommend doing too. And that stretches out the audio peaks so that way it gets it can get louder without uh, blowing out your your uh, your audio. So I'll select all by either double clicking, command A, or select all, multiple options there. And you have this little uh, icon up here for normalize. Click that based on whatever you want to do. 
um, I'll choose zero and it boosts the audio a little bit and just makes it uh, makes it nicer. So there you go, really all the tools you'll need to do uh, voiceover auditions. A couple other things that uh, help out, I'll go over them in another tutorial, but yeah, this is what you got and let me tell you, this is one of my favorite softwares to, to just use. It's quick, it's easy, and it gets the job done. Thanks for watching and um, take care. <laughs> Bye.